The iPad, it's still number one in tablets, but way down from the 90% market share it once enjoyed. Clearly, Apple's not going to rule the tablet market like it did the MP3 player biz. But what does it do to at least keep iPad at number one? I'm Brian Cooley with the top five things to expect in iPad 3. Number five, err, thinner, faster, longer. Sounds like the $6 million man's resume for a porn movie, but I'm referring to thinner size, faster CPU, and longer battery life. Incremental improvements on most or all of these counts, that's virtually a given. Number four is Siri, the world's best known digital parlor trick. Hi. It'll finally come to the iPad, partly because that will now have the hotter CPU I just mentioned, and that's an important part of being able to get Siri to understand you and do her voodoo thing. I don't understand. Now, Siri has huge halo value to Apple. It's a real set them apart kind of technology, though it's not that different from the voice command tech found on Android and in cars. Number three is a better camera. Correction, a decent camera. I've always been shocked how bad the camera is on the iPad 2, especially since the one in the iPhone 4S is so good. If you're gonna ask folks to hold up an iPad as a camera and look that stupid, they better get a good photo out of it. Number two is a better display. Now the iPad 2 is currently 1024 by 768 resolution and a 4.3 kind of squarish aspect ratio. Both are kind of pedestrian by modern standards. So look for the resolution to climb to full HD or 1080 or more lines measured vertically, but still remaining at a 4-3 aspect ratio. You see, Apple's always believed that a widescreen 16-9 display, while good for movie viewing, is weird for reading or browsing. Plus, it would raise hell with all those iPad apps already written for 4-3 ratio. Before I take you to the number one thing to look for in iPad 3, here's a tantalizing rumor that doesn't make the list. A smaller iPad. The Wall Street Journal recently reported that Apple is shopping for a supplier of 8-inch LCD screens. Hmm. Now that's either for one really big iPhone, one really small iMac, or one very tasty Kindle killer. But there's no indication such an iPad will arrive anywhere near the March 2012 date we're looking for for iPad 3. The number one thing I'm looking for in iPad 3, virtually a lock, is 4G. Introducing a mobile wireless device today without 4G is like offering one with a small screen. Well, that describes the iPhone 4S and it seems to be selling okay. But anyway, 4G is the kind of technology that almost makes more sense on a tablet than a phone, since the tablet begs for more high-res, full-screen data like streaming video. So consider this a virtual certainty, but of course a Wi-Fi only version will also still be available. For more top fives like this, go to top5.cnet.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.